Hey guys, this is a multi character ex listener. This was actually requested. I'm sorry for the person that requested this. This took me a lot of time to do because I had a lot of requests. Well, this is、um, where a listener has a fear of fireworks. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy and enjoy the video. Well, this seems silly for you, but you had a great fear that was fireworks. Yeah, yeah, some people can find it stupid, but it was pretty serious for you. Your fear was developed thanks to your quirk. Your quirk was called soundproof. You will create barriers that block the sound for places. Also, you can reduce or intensify your hearing. But when fireworks strike, it starts hurting your head, since mostly you have a better hearing than most people. This is you were a little kid, make you develop a fear of fireworks. But unfortunately, tonight, UA decided to have a firework event, which you didn't want to go, but you were too afraid to tell your friends about your little fear that you couldn't say no to them when they asked you like the hundredth time. So you were now stuck in the garden of UA, surrounded by your classmates, with the fireworks about to start. You were sitting next to your crush, Baku Katsuki. He doesn't know about your crush on him, and you were not planning to tell him. Time went by, and Mina shouted excitedly, I can't wait till the fireworks to start! I love them so much! You look around nervously and wished, Please, let time stop. Please, let time stop. But you know that wouldn't happen. Kirishima said, Yeah, I've been waiting the whole week for this. This is gonna be so fun. Do you agree, Yuan? You just looked down at the floor and said, I want to go to my dorm. I'm tired. Kaminari giggled and said, Yuan, just relax. This is gonna be like five minutes or something. So just stay with us like five minutes. We promise then we'll take you back to your dorm. Bakugo noticed how uncomfortable you were, he thought. Why are they so nervous about? Then it clicked. He remembered a conversation he had with you some months ago. You were explaining your quirk and basically telling you how loud sounds affected you. So he understood. Oh, she's scared. He quickly said, Oi, idiot, I'm not feeling good and you ain't want to go back, so we're gonna head back. You morons can stay here and continue watching this dumb shit, but we're gonna go. Bye, extras. He grabbed your wrist and started pulling you to the dorms. You were surprised, but quite grateful for this. He quickly opened the door and then shoved you into his room. He said, Are you scared of fireworks or something? You look around and said,、eh, Yes,、um, because of my quirk, loud sounds don't go good with it. And since I was the kid, The biggest sound I first heard was a firework, and I had just gotten my quirk. So I just started getting a fear of it, and I cannot control it now. He shook and said, Yuan, if you're planning on becoming a hero, you need to get rid of that dumb fear. Well, it's not actually dumb. We all have our fears. My biggest fear is my mom. Don't tell anyone that. You shook and said, Yeah, yeah, I won't. And、um, remember never to invite you to my house. It's very loud. I don't understand how you're friends with me right now. Yisha Khan said, Well, you may be loud, but it doesn't hurt my ears. He sighed and said, I think we can still hear the fireworks from here, but I think you'll be alright. Yisha Khan said, I can create a sound barrier if that helps. He agreed, and he quickly created a sound barrier that blocked all Bakugo's room. Then you lay back on his bed. He said, So that's why you always flinch when I do an explosion, right? You agreed and said, Well, I need to get over that fear, so why don't we train tomorrow and I can get accustomed to your explosions? He sighed and said, Whatever, dumbass, just go to bed. You quickly stood up and said, Wait, I'm gonna sleep here? He chuckled, Yeah, you are. You think I'm gonna let you go out now? Those idiots must be coming back now. And how are you gonna explain you were in my room? Just lay back down and you sneak tomorrow in the morning. You blushed and lay back in the bed. He put his arms around you and said, Good night, dumbass. Good night, Katsuki. 
he knew you weren't alright. He knew he's psychic better than anyone. Right now, you guys were in a hairy band in honor of Hawks. And there was going to be a firewood event soon enough. You were trembling and he was sitting right beside you. You were wearing a necklace with one of his feathers that he had given you in case of emergencies. And thanks to that, he could feel you were trembling. It seemed like you were scared. He quickly looked at you and said, Hey, Yuan, are you okay? Is something the matter? You looked at him embarrassed and said, Oh, it's not in hugs. Ignore it. You are trembling a lot. Tell me what's wrong, kid. You sighed and said, I'm just not comfortable, that's all. He started asking why you were not right, and you just said, Hawks, leave it. I'm fine, just a little comfortable. I will go find Mirko now. You stood up, trying to find the film hero, when he grabbed your wrist and pulled you closer to him and whispered in your ear, Kit, if you don't tell me what the fuck is wrong right now, I'm gonna get seriously mad at you. You just looked away and said, I'm scared. He asked again, um, can you repeat that? Why are you scared? You sighed. I have a fear of fireworks. He was confused. You were a hero. You were his psychic. You have fought villains. How you were scared of fireworks? She understood this fear. So he wasn't going to judge you because of it. He was going to better take you out of that place immediately. Thankfully, you guys were at an open place, so there was no roof. So he quickly grabbed you, Brady style, and started flying. All the people in the event were left speechless. Did Hawks just did that? He was flying and you were scared and said, Hawks, what are you doing? Kid, don't worry, I'm taking you the hell out of this place. But it's your event, you need to be here. I'm not that important. I can handle it. Don't. He stopped you talking because of a kiss. He said, shut up. This is important. I'm not going to let the person I like the most just be there scared, okay? He quickly landed on a building rooftop and said, listen, kid, I'm always going to be here for you. And yeah, you have that fear, but that's not stupid. It's just fear. And I just understand it. I have my own fears. Everyone has their own fears. So if you always need me, I will be here right by your side. Got it? Got it. You could hear from the distance. The fire started and you flinched a little. You still could hear them verbally. And he said, don't worry, kid, I'm here. He pulled you back into his chest and passed a hand through your hair. You look up at him and said, Thank you. Don't worry, I'll always do anything for you. He continued doing that for about five minutes. Then the fire stopped and he gave you another kiss. We left you a blushing mess. Now let's head back. All the people will be worried while we left. We all just said it was an emergency in the company, so you don't need to worry. You shook and said, Thanks, Hawks. Don't worry, Yuan. He sighed, looking around the festival. He couldn't understand where the league had decided to come to a festival. You guys were balanced, you could get caught. But Choke insisted, well, we are still people, so we should want more. He thought, this is stupid. You were right beside him. You and him just started dating like two weeks ago. But you knew each other much longer. He knew everything about you, your favorite color, your past that you didn't want to talk about your fears, everything that was need to know about someone's partner. He looked at you and thought, the only reason that's good to come out is to see her older stop. You leaned your head in his shoulder and said, it's beautiful, isn't it? He agreed with you, but said, but I prefer we're back at the lake. I don't like being out. It makes me feel uncomfortable. You laughed and said, well, Davy, you need to come out more. It's quite fun. He chuckled and said, Only because you're here, and only because you're here, and I get you all to myself. He planted a kiss on your cheek, and you blushed. Toga came running. She wasn't looking her like her normal self. She was looking like a teenage boy. 
you have to go in disguises, and thanks to Toga's quirk, it was quite easy for her. She said, Did you guys know there's gonna be a Fireboard event? I'm so excited! I have seen Fireboards in high school! I can't wait! Chiraki laughed and said, Well, I don't go out that much, but it will be nice. You like me? The last time I saw fireworks was when I was a kid, and it wasn't very pleasing. Twice agreed with all of them, and you started to panic. Oh, fireworks. You had a huge fear of fireworks, which you don't like to admit, and only Davy knew. The rest of the lake didn't knew. You thought they would think they were stupid and take badly of you. Davy, when you told him, he told you there was nothing but everyone had fears and he was alright to accept your fears. You quickly looked at your boyfriend and said, What do I do? He looked back at you and knew you were scared. He quickly grabbed your hand and said, We cannot go running back to the base right now. You think you can handle it for a few minutes? You shook your head and said, Davy, you don't understand. I hate fireworks. I cannot be here. I need to go now. He quickly said, Okay, calm down, you and Brigitte. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm by your side. You don't need to worry, okay? He grabbed your both hands and gave you a kiss on the forehead. A few seconds later, the fire was started. You saw Toga, Chiguraki, and the rest of the lake look so happy, but you were scared. You were starting to cheer up. But Davi quickly started kissing you and put his hands on your ears. You understand he was trying to distract you and you try melting into a kiss. You still hear the fireworks in the back, but you try to concentrate on the kiss to forget all that. It had been five minutes since you and Davy been kissing and already the fireworks had stopped. You felt grateful for having a boyfriend like Davy. He cared a lot about you and do anything for you. Toga then whined, Die, she stop when you were at his dorm. You were reading a book while he was playing some video games along with his friends. Suddenly, you ask him, Hey Shinzo, what time is it? He said, It's 4 p.m., why do you ask? No, just wondering. You guys kept it like that, a little conversation. And when it was 6, he said, Oh, Yuan, you heard about that fireworks that are gonna go in the middle of the city celebrating a hero's victory? You were said, What? Fireworks? Yeah, the school said that we probably can see them from here. You were scared. You had this huge fear of fireworks, and you didn't want anyone to know. He then continued, um, Do you want to go to the roof them to watch them? I've been told they're going to be beautiful. You quickly said, I can't. I'm sorry. He looked at you in confusion and said, um, Why not? You tried to look for an excuse, and he said, You want to tell me the truth? No, it's fine, Shinzo. You then felt yourself go still, like time stop. You then knew, he's using his quirk on me, isn't he? He then continued to say, Juan, tell me what's wrong. You continued to explain your fear of fireworks, and he was left speechless. So that's why don't you want to go. You had a fear. You nodded, and he said, Well, we can stay here, but I think we can still hear them from here. You were terrified and said, I don't want to be here. Um, Jinso, you should work to command me not to hear nothing. He chuckled and said, Yuan, that's not healthy. I don't know if you could hear after that. Um, I'm not going to use your quirk on you again. It makes me feel bad when I have to do it, you know. But you were really used it to me today. He sighed, yeah, but I only said we use it once a week if it was necessary. You sighed and said, Then what am I going to do? I don't want to be here. Then you just heard one firework and you quickly stood up and said, Shinzo, please use your quirk. I don't want to be here. Actually, please, please, please. Tears started rolling down your eyes and he then went, grabbed your wrist and pulled you into his lap. He then gave you a long hug and whispered in your ear, Yuan, everything's gonna be fine. I'm here with you. You know that. You're a brave person, okay? You're the bravest person I know. Just relax. Everything will be fine. Just concentrate on your breathing. You tried to do as he said, and then he started playing with your hair and continued to tell you positive affirmations and tell you everything was going to be alright. You slowly stopped hearing the fireworks in the back and thought, 
they're starting to end. That's a relief. He continued doing the same, trying to calm you down and make everything better for you. You were grateful. Chinso was only this girl with you. Probably if it was another person, he wouldn't do it. So you were very happy. When the fireworks were over, he pulled away from you and said, Okay now? You agreed, and then he gave you a kiss on the cheek. Now continue reading your book. I need to just continue playing the game. You shall consent. Okay, thanks, Shinzo. Kaminari and you were at the building of you and I, sitting on the rooftop. He knew there was going to be a firework event tonight, and he wanted to surprise you about it. But he didn't tell you. He just wanted to give you a surprise and then ask you out to be his girlfriend. You were sitting on the rooftop, playing your with your hair, and he looked at you, he thought. They look beautiful. You started talking with him and having a small conversation when you heard a firework. You shifted and saw in the sky the firework started. You wanted to cry, but you didn't want to cry in front of Denki. You tried to stood up and said, um, Denki, I have to go now. It was nice talking to you. He grabbed your wrist and said, um, Where are you going, Joanne? Are you right? You seem like you're gonna cry. No, 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 I'm fine, Denki. Please let's go. I need to go, please. He looked at you in confusion and said, Joanne, tell me what's wrong. You look up at the sky and pointed, and he looked at you in confusion. What, the fireworks? You agreed. And he continued, what's wrong with the fireworks, Yuan? You explained that you had a fear of fireworks and how you got it. He looked at you in confusion and said, oh, I get it. Um, I'm so sorry for bringing you here. I knew this was going to happen. And you were confused. You knew there's going to be fireworks. Why the hell did you invite me up here if you knew that? He defended himself, saying, Well, I didn't know you were scared of them. If I knew that, I wouldn't bang you here. I just thought it was a great idea to tell you here if you wanted to be my girlfriend. You look at him, still crying, but said, You were asking me to be your girlfriend? He agreed, and you saw him blush. But that doesn't matter now, Yuan. We need to get you inside, quickly. He grabbed your wrist and started pulling you inside the when it dorms. He then shoved you into his room and gave you a blanket. Let's watch a movie till the fireworks are over. What do you think about that? You gave him a smile and said, I think that's great. Thank you, Denki. He blushed a little and put on your favorite movie. You still hear the fireworks in the back, but Denki put the whole volume up for you not to listen and Denki started to cuddle you. After the fireworks were over, and the extra hour when the movie was over, he looked up at you and said, Hey, Joanne. Yes, Denki? Um, do you want to be my girlfriend? You smiled and said, Well, yes, but if you take me any place with fireworks again, I'll kick your ass. He laughed and said, uh, I won't. I don't want to die today. Love you. Love you too, Denki. Shiroaki and you were just hanging out in the rooftop of the lake watching the busy streets of the city. He looked at you and said, Hey love, can I ask you a question? You look at him and said, Yeah, what is it? Um, what's your biggest fear? You thought, Well, my biggest fear is fireworks, actually. He looked at you in convention. Wait, really? It's fireworks? You laughed and said, Yeah, it's kind of dumb, but I'm afraid of them. He laughed. It's not dumb. It's normal. You're you and it can make you special. It's kind of cute. How a fear of fireworks is cute, Shiraki. He laughed and said, everything you do is cute to me. Wait, the great Shigaraki Tomura has just gone soft for me? He said, shut up, Joan, before I kill you. And there's my man back. And that brought you to this a scenario, you guys were fighting some heroes at a recent encounter and one of the heroes had a quirk called Nightmares. Your biggest fear can be interpreted in front of you. When you were fighting him, fire started appearing. You were so embarrassed but terrified. Shigaraki started in front of you and disintegrated the guy. Then he carried you by the style and said, you and we're going back to the lake. You were crying and he saw that. So he quickly rushed into the car and started driving as fast as he could. When you guys got to the lift, he saw you on the bar 
and went to the rock to look for some ice cream. He said, take it. We're gonna play some video games. What do you think about that? You knew how he loved video games, and you also loved them yourself. So said, you bet. You are 30 years of your eyes, and started playing video games with your boyfriend. It was quite nice. He asked you, hey, Yuan, are you feeling right now? You gave him a smile and said, every time I'm with you, I always feel right. He blushed, and then you grabbed his collar and pulled him in for a kiss. He blushed even more. Then Dolly came back, and Choga said, Yuan, how are you? I saw what happened there. You look at Choga and said, I'm fine, Choga, don't worry about it. She pulled you into her arms and said, well, I'm always going to be here for my baby. Tomura glared at her and said, that's my baby, not yours, Toga. She said, well, I can steal her away from you. You blushed. And then Davi entered and said, well, I think you and will prefer you to date me than both of your psychopaths. They started arguing and you just laughed.